Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be learning about precipitation reactions. Now, in chemistry, a precipitate is a substance that crashes out of solution to form a solid. So if you did a precipitation reaction in school, you might observe something that looks a bit like this. So you can quite clearly see here that the white solid at the bottom is our precipitate. Now, there's a couple of ways of forming a precipitate. So let's look at this example over here. So let's assume we have a saturated solution of sodium chloride. Now, if we lower the temperature of the solution, we lower the solubility of sodium chloride and therefore the extra sodium chloride precipitates out of the solution. Another example that's probably more common with you is by reacting two soluble salts. So in this case, I've got lead nitrate reacting with potassium iodide, giving us the products lead iodide and potassium nitrate. We can see uh, the lead iodide is solid, so that's our precipitate. In fact, I'm going to show you a demonstration of this right now. So in that precipitation reaction, what actually took place was something called a double displacement reaction. So the lead iodide was that uh, yellowy precipitate that was formed and that could obviously be easily filtered out uh, by using a filter paper. Now, there are plenty of uses of precipitation reactions and one such use is in water purification systems. So sometimes uh, factories could um, you know, dispose of uh, heavy metals in the in an incorrect manner or there might be an accident and therefore these heavy metals such as chromium can leach into the environment and therefore contaminate our water supplies now chromium is very very toxic especially in high concentrations it can cause renal failure and cancer so we want to get rid of what you call chromium ions that are dissolved in a contaminated water sample and the way to do that is by forming something called chromium hydroxide. So we need a source of hydroxide ions and that can come in the form of sodium hydroxide. The chromium hydroxide that's then formed is very, very insoluble and this can easily be filtered off and that therefore removes any chromium ions from this water.